Angel Army, this is a troubleshooting video. Today I'll be answering all your questions regarding wearing your wig at home. So here are the items you may have at home that will really help with your wig application. Here I've got my foundation powder, a concealer, gel, spray tan, an old toothbrush, a rat tail comb, some hair oil, hair serum, very important you guys, hair mousse, and water. Some of the questions I get from you guys is, my wig is slipping, it is not sitting right, or the gel or the glue that I recommend it for use is not working for you. First question, Rugi, my wig is slipping, how can I fix the problem? I'm going to show you my wig construction to explain exactly what each gadget is used for. So they all come in adjustable straps that look like a bra strap, see? And they're adjustable, so you can adjust them to any comfort level. You want it tighter or it is too tight, it's giving you a headache, this determines that. And then on the wig strap, there's clips that you can actually clip on each side. So they both have clips like that. So what you do is just clip it into your hair and that fixes the problem. At the back here, you also have a comb. So this comb is meant to actually secure the back. That way, you know, it feels a lot comfortable and it's not lifting from the back. Second question I get a lot from you is, Rugi, my wig is not sitting right. So, as I've shown you on the first one, all my wigs come in adjustable straps, so this one is actually detached, so it becomes two. I'll show you another way that I actually attach them. See, this one is attached together. When you put it on, the adjustable straps do tend to bend sometimes, so when you put it on, it gives a little bulk. So make sure you don't get a bend like this. Make sure it's all sitting on the right direction and not bending. That way you've got, you've got an even application. Next, you have to really make sure the way you prepped your hair is going to um, be easy to apply your wig. I usually like to um, put my hair in braids, but most of you can't do braids and it's, it's okay. What I usually do is I've got my hair out now. Use your wig cap. Pop it on and then just tuck your hair at the back. You will get a bit of bulging, but that's okay. What you do is just massage it so it lays flat. I know most of you do have longer hair, so the longer your hair or the bigger your hair is, just massage it to lay as flat as possible and make sure it's just all the way to your nape. The lower the hair sits, the better. If you're talented enough to know how to braid, it's so much easier to just put section your hair into two or three or four and just put like big braids, but make sure it's done flat, that way it's not bulging when you put your wig on. And then it literally took me less than five minutes. All done, nicely laid. What I like to do is just put everything back like this and secure it with a bobby pin. So next I either put my stocking cap on or it's really personal preference because some of my customers really love the anti-slip grip. So this is what it looks like. It actually um, grips on the lace and prevents it from slipping. I'll just show you how I do that. Put it on around your perimeter of your head and just strap it on. Make sure you push it back a little bit. So this is optional, you still get it in your box anyway. How I recommend you wear your wig at home is hold your wig upside down, that way the lace bit is facing down and you've got this comb facing you and make sure your straps are also aligned like that and it's sitting nice and flat. So you dip your head, make sure the straps go in first, take this clip, pop it down and then you do a quick flip. So see, it's not sitting where I need it to sit, but at least you've got an idea. 
Then just move it around until you're happy with the position. Make sure you check where the air tabs are so that's a good indication whether it's sitting where you need it to sit. So following up on the second question, it's not sitting right. Your wig is new and it's just not looking right. It look, it's looking bulky, like right now, it's not styled. You need to allow it a couple of wears for it to actually mold to your head. So the first couple of wears you might feel like weird, but trust me, after you wear it for a couple of times, it just kind of melts onto you. So earlier on, I talked about all the products you might have at home to help you style your wig. First, I am going to show you how to change the parting. So as you can see, this is a side part. I really want a middle part today. So what you can do, you can part your wig from anywhere in front. Okay. So as you can see, I've, I've parted now, but obviously it's bulking and it's not sitting right. What I use is water to tame it to the direction you want it to sit. Spray some water. Comb it down. If you're happy with it, then you move on to the next step, which is hair mousse. So hair mousse really helps to tame your parting. So put a generous amount in your, your hands and just mousse it down, just the top of it. See how it's already looking nice and flat? This really helps. Pump it down even more. I'm really happy with how it's laying nice and flat. We'll move on to the next step now, which is using a concealer to define the parting even more. You can either use your concealer, as I mentioned earlier, or foundation, or even a powder, your face powder, just something that mimics your natural skin tone. This one's already really laying flat after dabbing water and mousse on it. I still like to use a hot comb. If you don't have a hot comb at home, you can definitely use like your straightener or your curling iron. And what you, I do is just comb it down. And this makes a big difference in getting everything to lay as flat as possible. Now you can go ahead and tame your baby hairs. So your wig would already come with baby hairs. You just have to follow these steps to make sure you've got it down. And baby hairs are actually a personal preference. Um, I actually like it just to hide where the lace, the demarcation is. But if you're quite comfortable with how it's looking, you can skip this step. So what I'm using here is the gel that I mentioned earlier. Either this, the, uh, the black one, or this one, either one would work. Third question I often get is, how do I get my gel and glue to stay down? First, you have to make sure that your skin is quickly clean and you have to do the application before you make up. If you do your makeup after, it's not going to stick right. It might stick a little bit, but not for a couple of days as I've, um, I've said it will last for. So I've got alcohol swab here. So I'm just going to clean the skin let it dry a little bit. You don't want to apply it whilst it's still a bit damp. Get your gel. Put a generous amount just around your circumference here. It doesn't matter if you put if your baby hairs are, are covered with the gel because it's really nice and friendly for your skin. Now you want to let it sit for a couple of minutes to get tacky. That way it sticks much better. For even better hold, I like to spray blah, blah. For even better hold, I like to spray where we applied the gel um, with some hairspray. Now it's been a couple of minutes, it's nice and tacky for me. So as soon as you apply the lace it will stick right on. So position it again where you want it to stick. And just play around with it with your fingers or your right toe comb. 
And what I like to do at this stage is just put a scarf over it whilst I do my makeup or get ready, at least for 15 minutes. There you have it. Once it's all done, you can go back and do the baby hairs just as I referred earlier and you're all done. Hope this tutorial was really informative and has helped you with troubleshooting at home. See you next time. Bye.